Hey, welcome back, Road Techers. We are at Con Kane right now on the edge of the Lyran Commonwealth, and we're about to pull off a mission for Haus Steiner here. So we're going to go to our contracts real quick and have a look at that mission. And we're going to take this hard target mission today, I think. Um, it's two and a half skulls. Hopefully we'll be able to encounter a heavy mech in here. Um, maybe a bunch of medium mechs that we can then uh, hopefully get some uh, other medium mechs assembled for our uh, individual lands, but uh, let's have a look at this this contract here. An elite mech warrior has been deployed to take command of a Lyra, of Lyran forces in this system. We need a skilled mercenary force to remove this mech warrior before they reach their command, while they're only lightly escorted. Every downed mech will help our cause, so there will be a bonus for a complete destruction of the target's supporting forces. Additionally, the mech warrior's command may send out an escort unit to meet them. Expect enemy reinforcements once you engage. So that's going to be at least nine mechs here. So this should be good. So this will be a good test for our our um, group here. Now it's Martian environment. It's going to be really hot, so we're going to have to really manage our heat here. Um, and it's assassinate mission. So if that if anything goes wrong, we can try and take out the, the uh, main guy and get out. So let's take a negotiation here. We're going to go maximum uh, salvage on this because I'm hoping to find some good parts. We're going to accept this and jump right into battle. All right, here we go in a dusty, dirty Martian world. It's moving through the area, and that is a catapult of some form. Hard to tell because it's can't zoom in on it, but I'm hoping it's not one of those ones with the PPCs. So we got to take them out, and then move to the evac zone. So two choices here: one, we can engage. Looks like they got reinforcements back here. And this guy here. I think we're probably going to have to engage this guy sooner or later. Because if he's got PPCs, um, he's going to do a lot of damage from range. And if he's got missiles, he's going to do a lot of damage from range. So I'm thinking... I mean, if it's PPCs, we can hide. There's enough places here to hide. But if he's got missiles, he's going to be constantly bombarding us. Well, let's reserve. See what they do here. And we'll reserve again. I'm here when you need me. Reserve again. Now we got to make a decision. Do we face the two lances coming in and wait for him or do we go after him and potentially have to face him plus the other two lances? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play it this way. We're gonna go this way. Confirmed. I want to take off, the, take on these reinforcements first. So we're gonna move height up in here, Got try and get them behind some cover up over here. Uh, not much. I was wasn't as high of a crater as I thought it was. But we'll move them in. A couple of vehicles. Okay, that's a good sign. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Darius, every place seems to be an ideal place for an ambush. Um. Who's where? Okay. We're not going to be able to get close enough to shoot anybody, but let's move forward. Get into the whirlwind here, get a little bit of protection. Wait to see what they do. And we get our rack in here as well. Really hoping this rotary auto cannon performs well today. You know what we forgot to put in? The ballistic uh, TTS. That's what we forgot to put in. That's going to be not good. Okay, we're going to move our missile system back over here. No shooting, just running. All right. Let's see what they do now. Hopefully we can get eyes on next turn and they don't stay behind the hill or something. So they're in a position where we can actually see them. Another vehicle, okay. That kind of bodes well. It doesn't bode well for, for good... Um, salvage unless these are like clan vehicles but let's do this uh, we're gonna sprint down where we can see this guy like this there's two mechs coming down so it looks like there's only oh, there's four vehicles here okay two mechs coming down this guy's moved in a little bit already tiger t12 let's fire at him we're gonna only use two flamers oh, let's use three we're pretty good heat here 
just to engage him. And three misses. Nice. You've got to be shitting me. That should have hit. It should have hit, man. Okay, so 408, 85 in the front. All right. So let's move. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. I think I want to save ground zero. I await your command. Um, let's just walk it up here. Moving to position. And we'll pelt this guy with missiles in the front. I'm gonna leave off the small laser. We might get lucky and, and penetrate and kill him. Nice. Wow, did you see that thing fly apart? <laughs> It's still going! It's still going! It's still going! Look at it! That's like... How far did that fly? Halfway across the map board! Okay, that was awesome. Good to go. We're making a point. That's what we're doing. Just making a statement. You mess with us, you mess messing with the best. Alright, so we're gonna move... We're gonna move in you here, get that rack into a position where we can do some damage with it. See what they do now. Really hoping for those vehicles to move down, but that's fine. That's a fast mech. So that is a Shadowhawk 2C. And that is not good. I mean, it's good for salvage, but it's not good for us. Order. So let's move here. On it. Yeah, I want everybody on this Shadowhawk, please. Mortars and grenade launchers on him until he's gone. So, he has got a clan engine, so killing his torso is not going to matter. 81% chance to hit. If I do an offensive push on him and try for a headshot, what does that give us? 52% chance to hit with the... Let's just try it. Well, at least they both hit. Okay. It pushes him back a turn, so we don't have to worry about him for a turn. Another tiger. So we were able to kill the tiger last time with the trebuchet, so we'll do the same thing next turn and try and kill that tiger with the trebuchet. We're gonna use height to overheat the shadow hawk. Vedette, ah. Crap, it's got an AC5. Five plus, probably. Yeah. Okay. And that is a Gauss catapult. Oh, things just keep getting better and better. Okay, so let's move down here. And we're going to put as many flamers on this guy as we can. Just shut him up early. Hopefully we hit it with everything. There we go. He's shut down now. So we're going to try and leg him. Um, with the PPC. And of course it's a Saladin. Why not? <sighs> Alright. Flatliner. We do need to move. I'm gonna go up on the hill here. On the way. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to take... How much is this? This guy's an up-armored one, right? 42, 76, 34. Okay, so we're going to multi-target. We're going to fire at you and you. And the Saladin is going to get an ER, the clan ER, and the better of the LRMs to hit, because I want him gone for sure. And then the other guy will get the other two. Firing on multiple enemies. So that should finish him. Okay. What the hell is it with this flying debris? Is it like low gravity here or something? Like, where did that go? Look it! It went farther than the last one! What the frig is this guy? What is this guy? Oh, friggin... Echidne. Whatever, I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that damn thing. Uh, Waiting for orders. Okay, we're coming back into the uh, whirlwind here. Right here. Copy that. And we're going for a leg shot. We're gonna fire one PPC because 
That should take the leg off. Let's do that. Hopefully we hit. On it. And it didn't. Because damage reduction, I guess? One point left. Really? Okay, that's just a large laser. So now I need to make a decision here. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. I got it. I got an idea. Multi-target. We're gonna hit this guy in the side with the rack, and this guy hopefully in the side with the medium pulse. Copy that. Maybe one hits the leg. Torso knocked down. Didn't get the leg, and we miss with the pulse, of course. Okay, not too bad. Got rid of the AC-20 off the board. This Tiger T-12 should die next turn. And their Clan 2C mech is up in a uh, little bit of problem here. Gotta watch out for that friggin' Goss rifle though. Okay. He's moving in. Crap. Okay, we gotta duck down behind behind the hills here. And you're gonna get up and I have no idea what you're gonna do. Okay, we're not looking for salvage now, we just we're just looking for kills. So we need to move a fair bit here. Uh I don't know how far we can move and still be effective here. Let's move to here. So it's a few chevrons. We're gonna target this guy. We need him shut down again, hopefully. Three flamers. Yep. Right leg destroy this time. Nice. Another knockdown. One of four left. Okay, so he's running. Thought about it and decided not to stick around. So, both our Hunchback and our Trebuchet need to be out of that Goss Rifle's ability to hit. So I'm thinking the best way to do that is to move Vein Skater probably down into here? I think that'll give us enough cover? On my way. I think so. I think we'll be hitting enough there. It's, it's hard to tell. Uh, so what has this tiger got left on the front? 24 and a 40 some odd on the side. And this guy has got a bunch. So let's multi-target. And we're going to do this. Try and take out the tiger first. Roger. Splitting fire. Come on. Really? Really? What was that? I missed that. What was that? Good to go. Nope. Flatliner next. We need to be down in here too. Let's hope that you're out of the way. Rolling. Looks like you're probably going to be out of the way. I have no idea. Multi-target again. You and you. Um, A, B, and B. Let's fire these guys and hopefully we kill them. Okay, that guy's dead. And let's hit the other guy, please. No, not quite enough, but at least we have a good chance of killing him next time. Unless he turns his side, of course. He's ineffective, that's okay. Alright, so now we're gonna move ground zero. We can use two PPCs this turn. We're going to move down in here, to position. staying away from that guy up there, and we're going to try and take the other leg off, I think. Uh, how much do we need here? We're not going to be able to do it. So let's aim for the head. Maybe we get lucky. Both PPCs. Actually, only one PPC. Firing. On target. Nope. I don't know where I hit him, though. CT, maybe. Looks like I hit him in the CT, yep. So he's probably going to try and run. 
mean, at least I would. So he's unstable. Shit. Okay, height, you know your target now. Okay. Height first. Let's get behind this guy. I got you. We need to shut this guy up as fast as we can. So we can probably fire three, right? Yeah. I got you. Let's get some heat on him. Primary target damage, Commander. Not much, but it's enough to get a start on him. Oh, you decided to move first, did you? He's trying to avoid himself from dying here. So Okay, how do we deal with this now? Got to get to a point where that guy over there can't see us. But we got to be able to target the guys we need to target here. Uh, maybe we move down. No, it doesn't matter where we go. So if we move... <sighs> tough choice. That's an option. So if we go here, we can try and finish this vehicle up. So let's do that. On my way. It'll time. save a little bit of heat. Just going to use the missile systems on the vedette. Hopefully we don't spread too much, but let's fire them and hopefully we get enough hits. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, not quite enough. So I'm not enjoying this rack build. It's too unpredictable. So let's move... Main skater... Can we get... No, we can't get to a point where we can shoot that tank. So that guy can't see us from here. Let's see what this baby can do. We can probably take out the tank. 41. If we just fire the rack, that'll save us some heat. So let's do that. Let's try and kill this guy. No, it's not going to work, is it? Fire the pulse. Oh, there we go. What is it with these explosions? There must be, like, no gravity on this planet. Ah, freaking blackjack. Really? Okay, so we're going to move Bob. back. Roger that. And we're going to target this guy. We're just going to fire on his side. And we'll hit him with two PPCs. Hopefully we get a knockdown on him. And that'll be the end of him. Two leg hits. Knockdown. And he's unconscious. That's it for him. So that's excellent salvage now. Okay, catapult. Trying to run. They're getting the angle on me. Yeah, well, he's not going to hit with a Gauss rifle from that close. Let's relax. Uh, yep. And you're not going to overheat him. Only being able to fire three flamers. So let's get you maybe to a position that guy can't see you? Somewhere? Where would that be though? Here maybe? Commander. Okay, you cool off this turn. That catapult is uh, far enough away from our other guys we don't have to worry about him too much. So this is our next target right here, I think. Well, he's really not doing anything. Maybe that blackjack. The vehicle's got to go. The vehicle went, I mean. So he's gone. So we've got two mechs left. Plus the boss. So this guy... 600 armor, not a lot. Waiting for orders. Let's step over. I'm going. Apply some damage to this guy. We're going to fire everything. I know we're going to in the heat zone right now, but we really got to take care of these guys as soon as possible. Did we get his arm? We didn't get his arm. We did a lot of damage, though. Yeah, screw you. So we can't really engage because that griffin will come around behind us. So let's move 
Uh, vein skater back. Now can we use the rack? That's the question. We can. Let's fire the rack on him. So it looked like two hits. He's still stable. And ground zero, we're going to step up into the smoke here. Won't be able to hit him from there, though. I can hit him from here, I think. Can I hit him from there? Nope. Here. 81%. Location confirmed. Only going to be able to use one PPC. What if we do an offensive push on him? 52%. No, let's just do a regular attack. Stay with the 81. Make sure we hit him. Maybe we can knock him over. Confirmed. Knock down. Nice. So we're slowly whittling them down here. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, you're chasing the catapult. You're chasing the fire starter, right? Eh? Not sure why you would do that, but sure, man. Feel free to chase height all you all want. Right, let's move. Height, how about you invite him to the barbecue? Firing. Four hits, nice. More than I thought I'd get. Now we're really hot. What is... How come they get to go... Oh, they, that's right, never mind. I thought they were going twice. Oh, that hurts. Oh, he destroyed my NSS. My mech is overheating. Yeah, and I'm falling. Damage minimal. Okay, we need back shots on this guy fast. That really hurts. Commander? Okay. On the move. Let's Ulti. teach this guy a lesson. Leave this off. Leave that off. Firing all the LRMs when he's back. And Van Skater. Copy that. Full speed. Now I don't think I can fire the rack at him, can I? I can. Let's just do it. Okay, one hit. Better than nothing. What are they doing here? He stood up and is jumping. Okay, I'm starting to panic Order. here. Stand up. I'm on, buddy. Ready for action. 4.3% chance to melee. Doesn't really w matter where I go. Like, I could shoot the guy, but then my heat is going to be like going over. Let's do that, and we're going to uh, brace. That's all we can do. Okay, that's a miss. Okay, managing some heat. We're just going to walk over here. Copy that, Commander. And we can use probably just three, right? Yeah. Should be able to shut him down now. Maybe. Yep. So that'll shut him up for this turn. Let's see what they do. Where's he going? I don't know if I can get behind him again. He's almost unstable, though. I'm your spaniel. Can I get behind him? I can. Oh, How man. you like me now? Uh, we're gonna leave this LRM off, and we're gonna use this and this, and we're gonna fire straight into his back. Actually, can I? I can't use that one. Let's use the these guys instead, though. Putting one in the back. Okay, now he's lost his evasive. They're 
pushing. I'll give it to them. They're pushing. Waiting for orders. Can we get behind that guy? We cannot, but we can get beside him. Consider me there. Fire the rotary. Roger that. Oh come on! Really? Really? Ready for orders. Okay, I gotta move to here. Affirmative. And I got ten left in the center torso. Vigilance for sure. And I'm gonna fire at this guy and try and knock him down. Uh, one PPC only. Battle mech power up detected. Okay. Standing by. Sprint. As far as I can go. I copy. And height. Confirmed. Gonna walk behind this guy. I got you. Three more on him. Well, this looks bad for you. One, two, three. Almost shut down. Nice try, buddy. Okay, now we're not going to let this guy get up. So let's move best we can. Acknowledged. And we're going to dump everything on this guy. Um, he's got so much armor. Going to try for the head, I guess. Um, many missiles as possible. I think from the angle, though, you'd, you'd be an easier chance for a head hit, but not likely. Yes, Commander. Okay, Vane Skater, he's really hot, so let's attack this guy. We're going to move on this side of him, because I know we've got the, that damage on that side, plus he's unstable, so 92% chance. We should be able to knock him down. We get his torso, we did, so he'll be injured. Yep, and then the knockdown sh should uh, put him out. Solid connection on that one. It didn't even knock him down. Really? Really? Alright, what's this guy doing? Mm -hmm. Catapult gonna attempt to hit me. Oh! Nice one, buddy. Getting banged up real good here. I can see that. It's okay, we're shutting that guy down in a second. Confirmed. Let's back shot him again. Three. Can we use four? We can use four. We don't need four though, we just need three. Firing. There it is, there's three. Shut down. Okay. As long as we can keep that guy tied up, we should be okay here. He jumped and he didn't fall over. Hats off to you, my friend. Hats off to you. Okay, so we're gonna move Flatliner over here. Onward. And we're gonna multi-target. Gonna hit the uh, Blackjack and we're gonna hit the uh, Griffin. Blackjack's gonna take the lasers and the Griffin will take the LRMs. Gonna fire. So that should knock him down. Yep. And we'll get the blackjack. So we have a chance to get a full blackjack if we can get that part. God, I hate this guy. Oof. Heat damage. I see that. Orders. Okay, let's sprint it back. Straight behind him. 51. Okay, let's go right behind Roger. him. Double time. And we're going to shoot straight into this guy's back with everything. 
Okay, nice. Good back damage on this guy. He's panicked. Waiting for orders. So I am going to turn like the so. And I'm going to shoot this guy here with two PPCs. And we're going to aim for his head. Aye, aye. Two hits, nice. Okay, he powers up, and we shut him down again. I don't think we can. S probably not. So let's move. we got to get some good evasion going. Actually, can we get into the... Uh, we can. Let's get into the uh, swirlies here. Get a bit more defense going. We'll fire three uh, flamers on him. Okay, that should almost shut him down. Yep. What's this guy doing? Yep. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. That's okay. I'm gonna do this. Attack him from behind. Get rid of that heat. Oh, with a 77.7% .7 chance to hit and you miss. Really? Really? Come on, guys. Ready. It's a chance to hit. 91% chance with a melee attack. Or if we stand back here. 76... No, we're going to do this. Position confirmed. How's his back doing? Like, the one torso is almost gone. Can't shoot both, but we can shoot the rotary. Target there we go. Finally. Target Good news. Eliminated. Good to go. Since this guy can't see me from across the map, I'm not really worried. Walking on target. Leg shot, please. What? Engine destroyed. Well, that was uh, kind of a quick ending. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Not going to complain. Man, I lost the NSS armor. I think I've got a, re a spare. I think. Not sure. 139,000 is going to cost at least that to repair these guys. Uh, one wound. The NSS was the only thing I think we lost here out of everything. Yeah. But I'm not liking this rotary build. we got to change this. We're suffering from severe lack of weapons on that guy. So a blackjack. We've got a good chance to get one part from a blackjack. Good chance to get catapult parts. Um, Griffin parts, Shadowhawk 2C parts, it's awesome. So I'm not liking these AC-10s, so we'll leave those. AC-10 Ultra will drop in. Goss Rifle, I mean the other option is we can put a Goss Rifle in that. Uh, that's 15 tons though. We could put that in the um, Hunchback. Let's pull that out. Small Pulse Laser, medium, medium Pulse Laser Clan, SRMs, Plus two damage, eh. Uh, clan Feral Fibers, that's good. We want another one of these guys, but an XL engine, that's what we're looking for right there. Uh, let's take out the AC-10 Ultra since we already have one. Um, ultra Light Gyros, Extra Light Gyros, which are some things we needed. Now, do we get Patchwork Materials, Clan Endo Steel, ugh. A lot of good stuff, but I think we're going to go for the extra light gyro. And we'll just confirm this. Okay, so one, two blackjack parts, which means I think we have a blackjack now. Catapult, one part. One, two, three, the griffin parts. One, two, three, four, Shadowhawk 2C parts. Nice. We got the Ultra 10. Flamer. SRM2, meh. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, Blackjack, up and running. 57,000, that's actually not bad. I thought it was going to be way worse than that. So let's have a look at the mech bays real quick. Let's go to the bays. And the Blackjack 1X. Let's refit this guy. So we got an engine, 255. So what hard points does this guy have? 
So we've got eight, eight uh, laser hard points on this guy. So let's repair all. Yeah, we've got a couple flamers, laser, medium, and a, a um, single heatsink engine. So let's just confirm the repair on this guy for now. I think this guy is probably going to end up being our flamer vehicle right. now. I'll get it in the schedule. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do with them. We're going to take out the uh, fire starter and upgrade them to the blackjack. Now I know that this fire starter does far better um, superior flamer output, but the heat has just been so ridiculous and we can recycle the uh, exchanger I think that we've got in here. So we might be able to uh, joggy those around. So let's have a look at, let's just go to the Argo here. We want to have a look at the Hunchback first though. So let's go into the mech bay here. Because we're going to retool this guy for sure. Like it's just so painful. So the rack just isn't doing what I want it to do. I know we didn't have our ballistic targeting system in there. But for 14 tons, I was expecting to get a little bit more out of this thing. Plus, we need so much ammo, right? So let's take that out. We're going to pull this out right now. Um, and we're going to pull the pulse laser out for now. And then we're going to pull out the... Well, we'll leave the regular ferrule for now. But let's go first things first before I forget this time. Put the ballistic in. Because we definitely need that. Uh, we've got clan Indo steel already. And we want to put in... Take out the light engine. We're going to put in our um, Clan X XL engine. Drop that in. Um, and then we're going to put in the extra light gyro. All right, so now we're getting some more tonnage here, which is good. Uh, I'm going to leave the engine the way it is because I think it's working OK. I mean, we don't have a lot of speed, but we're OK that way. Um, then let's have a look. See, I don't have another NSS. We're going to have to put in this. Uh, okay, um, so let's go to weapon systems. I'm going to take out our um, Gauss rifle here. Going to drop that in, and then we're going to also put in. Uh, do we have Gauss ammo? We don't even have Gauss ammo. Let's check the store. I think I sold that, which, knowing me, is not a surprise. Let's go and get ourselves some Gauss ammo. We're going to buy two tons. Available. Good thing about Gauss ammo is it doesn't explode, right? So we can put that anywhere. Um, but for now, we're just going to drop in the legs, and I'm going to separate it just in case, right? We're going to pull two heat sinks. Going to put them in the. Uh, oops, didn't want to pull that out. Where'd you go? Here we go. Put two guys in the legs for now. So now we can put in some systems that can actually um, generate heat, because Gauss rifle generates like no heat, right? So 70 pinpoint damage. We got plus two to hit with it. Got seven tons remaining, um, and we've got lots of heat sinks. So let's maybe go back and we put in the triple plus PPC again. Or is that making the same mistake? Maybe we go with more clan pulses instead. Like if we add one to each arm, we got three tons left. And is there anything we can add missile wise? Like a Street 2 is what? One and a half tons. Hmm. What's our heat sinking right now? Alpha Strike's 41, heat sinking is 51. So if we pull out, we could put in Street 4, which is two tons. No, Street 4. Three tons. Or two Street 2s. Hmm. Put a street four in. What's our uh, heat sinking right now? Fifty three. We'd have to pull out a ton, which means a heat sink would have to come out and ammo would have to go in. So we're at forty one alpha strike, heat sinking fifty one three tons left. Maybe another... We could put the, the last clan medium pulse in and then we can put in another heat sink. Thinking that's what we're going to do. So let's go down here, heat sink. Drop it here. So how are we here? 
That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And our damage output is relatively the same. So... I think it'll cost less if I leave this here, right? I don't know. Anyway, we'll do that. Um, and see how this goes now. So let's confirm this. Nine days. Not bad. Now we have to have a look at... Let's go to the Argo. And we'll go for one more day. Trebuchet. Oops. Vindicator, six days. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, Got to worry about our next financial report now, too. So let's have a look in the mech bays one more time. Let's have a look at our Vindicator. Going to refit this guy. So we had put the uh, bulwark engine in, or the armor NSS. Um, so let's take that out, and then we're going to go equipment. We're going to go ferrofibrous, clan, sorry, clan ferrofibrous. That's what we want. Um, so now we've got an extra ton and a bit. So we could just add some more armor, which is always a good thing. Uh, really, it's just back armor at this point. Um, Let's add, all, let's add it all to the CT back. And then we're going to add another heat sink. Um, because why not? We'll drop another heat sink in. So heat sinking is helping. It's going up a little bit. Not much, but that'll help a little bit. Um, let's confirm that. So now I think what we'll do is we'll just wait um, until our lance is back. Let's get that blackjack, let's manage the tasks here a bit. Let's get that blackjack to the end here. Hunchback's still gonna be nine days though. Yeah, let's go to the end. Might as well. So let's see here. Free Worlds Leagues, Fighting Magistry of Canopus. And Federated Sons. Um, Russell Hag. I didn't see any peace board. declaration there. So we're down to about a hundred thousand now, which means we're going to really have to double our efforts here. Hmm. Yang arrives in your quarters with a request. Boss, this planet has a major manufacturing base with lots of skilled technicians. If we can spare the sea bills, we could possibly scare up some temporary additions to the mech base staff and really knock out repairs and modifications. Fifteen grand would be bare minimum, but I recommend eighty grand to attract top talent. What do you say? Hmm, do we want more? Let's let's use fifteen grand and get a little bit of boost here in our mech bay. That's only plus one tech point for fourteen days, but okay. We're going to be rejigging stuff anyway, so that'll help out a little bit. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, when we come back next time, what we're going to have a look at um, is we're going to try and refit the Blackjack. Uh, and we're going to remove the fire starter from our lineup for now. Uh, we'll probably just port all this stuff over. Um, probably be, add, be able to add a lot more flamers since we're not going to be generating extra heat. But we are going to have to start thinking about um, how we're going to shut mechs down because we're not going to be generating as much per flamer. The Exchanger Plus is going to be great. We're going to pull this out of here and probably put it into the, either the Vindicator or maybe the Hunchback. I'm not sure yet. Um, so that we're going to be able to save that. Uh, but yeah, until next time... Um, if you're playing Rotec, I wish you all the best, and I'll see you later.